poppy's going. I need to get this made because I don't know, I've been kind of like, how do I make a video talking about the thing that I've been dreading for the last couple of weeks? I suppose the answer is you just turn on the camera, make the video, don't you? I wrote about it in my pages this morning, which felt good. It felt good getting that out. And I'm hoping this will feel good as well. I mean, you'll know if you're regular watchers of my channel that Poppy the Akita has been not well for a while. Clover the Barsa also has been not well for a wee while as well. What a time it's been. So yesterday, the vet came out. She had a bad night. I mean, she had a really bad night. She was getting us up every five, ten minutes. Just couldn't get comfy. She couldn't get up off the floor herself. Which has been the case before and then she's kind of got a bit better and she's been able to get up and... Yeah, it was just, it was just getting too hard. So, yeah, she's gone. Popsicles, Poppy the Akita. So we got her in 2011. We took Clover the Bassett down to see Robert Errol, who's a local guy that was sheltering dogs while we went on holiday, kennels. But not only that, he also bred Akitas. So when we took Clover down to have a look around November 2011, they just had a litter of pups. And we saw the litter and we were like, oh. And we had the kids with us as well and they were both like, oh. And we're like, no, not getting another dog. And we went on holiday. And while we were away, we just couldn't get these puppies out of our head. We ended up, well, I ended up buying a book on Kindle about Akitas to read while I was on holiday. And I was like, oh, these dogs sound amazing. So we sent an email off and asked if we could reserve one. And they were like, yep, yeah, we've got one left. So we did, and that was Poppy, November 2011, and what, what an amazing dog she's been. Great family pet, great companion to Clover, great companion to me going up into the hills. She used to come with me a lot around the hills on Arran, and I've got some extra special memories of that. And being a YouTuber, of course, I've got lots of video. Lots of iPhone video, lots of Sony camera video. About 900 photos, I think. I've been going through them today a little bit, just reminiscing. And, you know, my kids, my kids are now 18 and 16, so they've kind of grown up with with these two dogs as their, as their childhood pets, which is a lovely thing. You know, I had childhood dogs as well. I had Bruce the dog. He was a cross Alsatian Labrador found by Isla St. Clair. It's a name probably none of you will know who are watching this, but she was she was the sidekick on the Generation Game TV show that was on in the early 80s. And uh, she'd found him as a stray, handed him into the pound. So we got him as a, as a rescue. And we had Cindy, the Jack Russell. So Cindy and Bruce were my childhood dogs, companions, you know. And I have such fond memories of, of those two dogs. I do have a little bit of video of Cindy down Presswick Shore. I was down there with my pal when he was doing some, some street riding down at the Seal Sanctuary in Presswick. Not the Seal Sanctuary, the Sailing Club. So, yeah, growing up with dogs, I've, I've always thought it was, was one of the best things that you could do. And so that's kind of why we did that for, for our kids as well. And funnily enough, Hamish has never really been that bothered, you know. He did come out and say goodbye. But other than that, he's a cat guy. He loves our cats. Oh, cat. We're down to one cat now as well. Not so much dogs, but Freya. Freya's a massive dog lover. So, yeah. 
Rest in peace, Popsicles. Thank you for being our wonderful pet. Been such a good friend to us all. Cheers.